Here are three very easy ways to do poodle puffs. I first part my hair into three and then I use this afro hair that I have had for a long time and I just put it in between. If you want to crochet, you can crochet. I have already crocheted. Is that a word? I hope that's a word. I've already crocheted with this hairstyle before. If you want to see that, I'll put the video at the end on the screen. But for now, I'm not going to be using any crochet hook. I'm just going to be placing the hair in between and then braiding my natural hair. So if you don't have a crochet hook near you or you just don't feel like crocheting, just go ahead and do this. Crocheting. Why am I saying crocheting? Go ahead and do this instead. It's just as good. So as I said, I'm going to show you three different ways of doing this hairstyle. So you can pick whichever you feel comfortable with and feel is the easiest for you. First, grab your hair together and then just remove a little bit of hair and then wrap that around just to secure the best. When you're done wrapping, just go ahead and tie that part to just keep all of that in place. And after that's done, just fluff out your hair to make sure that you hide your hair in between your braid in between the hair so that it doesn't show. For the first method, we'll be using threads. So just grab your threads, remove a little bit of that and tie it. Now, the part that you tied is not the part that you're going to be using. You're going to be using this part instead because you want to make sure that your hair is smoothly tied. So now, get your cotton and just tie around just to create a first bubble. And then afterwards, you tie it like that to make sure it's secured. To measure the length of each bubble, use your fingers like so. This is the hack I learned from, I cannot pronounce her name, but I'll put it in the on the screen and also in the description. So just keep tying for each bubble and just keep going. And after you do a few, you will actually not need to measure anymore. You get the hang of it and just keep going. They will just be almost the same size. And if you want them to be a little more thicker, th uh, fatter, I don't know how to say it, but you can always just go back and fluff out your bubble each bubble i do that at the end though if you like you can do it after each one of them but i do that at the end after i feel like it's not it's maybe a little bit thinner than i want it to be so you're going to keep wrapping until your desired length i wanted this to be a little more shorter than i've ever done before i've tried longer ones shorter medium length ones and these ones i wanted them to be a little more shorter so i just ended right here if you want them longer just keep wrapping until your hair is done as you can see you cannot even see the thread anywhere it's so clean i like this method for this very reason but what if for some reason you don't want to use thread i have a solution for that too so on to method two so for the second method you're going to part your hair just like we did before and place your hair in between then part your hair again and place your hair in between that second part just so that your braid is well hidden in between once I'm done placing the extension, I begin to braid my own hair so that I secure the extension in place. You can use a rubber band instead if you don't want to braid your hair or if you don't know how to braid your hair. It is actually much faster. Now as you can see, my hair is not as black as the extension. So that's not a problem still. We're going to make this work. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you fluff out your hair well enough that your natural hair is well covered and you can't see it poking out anywhere. So for this next method, we will be using rubber bands. Everybody's favorites okay you've seen a lot of people use rubber bands for this and this is the method that we're going to be using using rubber bands first of all the best we secure it the same way as we did before tie a little bit of hair around wrap a little bit of hair around and then tie it once you've wrapped about twice just to make sure that the base is well secured once you're done with that just go ahead and make sure that your hair is still not poking out and grab your rubber bands so we'll be using rubber bands the same way we use thread to tie so for each bubble we'll be placing a rubber band to make sure that it's tied so that we form the next bubble and we just keep going just like that you have to tie the rubber band about three or four times just to make sure that the tight part is thin enough to form the next bubble you know just to make the difference to make it thinner enough and if you feel like your bubble is thin, just go ahead and fluff it out just to make sure it's bubbly. Anyway, after your first bubble, you grab another rubber band and again place it on the next part that you want to form the next bubble and wrap it about three, four times again and form that bubble. Fluff it out if you want it to be more fatter and then just keep going. So which method do you prefer so far? Is it the first one or the second one and why? Is it because it looks neater or is it because it's easier? Which one? Let me know in the comment section below. And also my hair grows all the way to my neck so don't mind the little hair sticking out because I'm not even going to wear this hair style up. So it's going to be down anyway. I don't really mind that. My hair just grows all the way to my neck guys. It's, there's nothing I can do about it. But if you want a much more slick look, just use some gel 
and brush up the little bit of hair and this is what it looks like guys you can still see the shininess of the rubber bands sticking out but if you're really close and what are you doing being that close to me so if you still don't like any of the methods we've used so far this is the third method that we're going to be using and we're not going to be using this hair because it actually breaks so easily as you are seeing right now so i grabbed some old braiding hair and that's what we'll be using for this i begin by cutting the hair into two because i don't need the hair to be that long anyway so after cutting the hair i go ahead and just fluff it out and make sure that it is not tangled because you want your bubbles to look as neat as possible so just go ahead and do this part please do not skip it especially if you're using old braiding hair i'm then going to divide my hair into two and then do my parting and then place the hair in between the parts like i did before so one thing to keep in mind when using straight braiding hair for this style like this is that it will get into in between your hair as you are trying to put it down and do your braid so i didn't use it the right way i should have it's the first time because this is the first time i was doing this but if you keep watching you'll see how i made sure that it stays put as i do my braid and now i lost my other part now i'm looking for it for me okay so now you just do your braid and the thing with this part is that the hair kept getting into my braid the extension kept getting into my braid because it wasn't all the way put but if you keep watching i'll show you exactly how you make sure that the hair stays still as you can see if you can see there's some bit of hair on the braid as well but that's not a problem because it came out still good and just make sure that your braid is well hidden fluff your hair out nicely and then again pick a little bit of hair and wrap that around and tie it as we have already done this part guys so you'll see in a minute exactly why we needed to use hair that doesn't break so easily like the hair that we used before I first saw this method from Maurice the Crochet Master and I'll link the channel in the description. So for this method, make sure your hair is well fluffed out, your braid is well hidden in between so that you don't have anything sticking out. Look at how neat that is. And then grab a little bit of hair and just tie that around with that bit of hair. And just wrap around twice. The third time, you are going to tie it. You don't need to grab that much hair actually, just a little bit, even about like 5 strands or 4 strands, just enough to make sure that you can tie. I actually grabbed a little bit here, a little more than I should have here and you'll see me just remove a little bit of it because it was too much. Just a little bit to make sure you can tie around and that's all you need. So you first tie and then wrap around once or twice and then tie again to make sure it's secured. And again, you can fluff out your hair if you feel like your bubble isn't thick enough. Or you could just go on to the next one and do it at the end. It still works just fine. Again, just grab a little bit of hair and then tie that around, wrap it, and then again, tie it to secure that part. And then again, if you like, fluff out your hair to make sure your bubble is as big as you want it to be. And just keep going. This method requires you to not have anything, it doesn't require you to have anything, you don't need rubber bands, you don't need threads, it's just the hair that you already have. And yes, my hair works for this, it's just that my hair wasn't like the right kind of hair, it's not really my hair, it's just some other hair, it's some odd hair, I can't remember, remember the name. But if you have my hair, this works fine. The person that actually saw this do this, uh, Maurice the Crochet Master, had my hair and he used my hair instead and it worked perfectly fine so just keep wrapping and making your bubbles until your desired length I'm going to continue with this berry hair because I just want to continue with the same method and the other hairs you've already seen breaks easily I can't do this with it so I'm going to continue with this berry hair and do my entire head with it you can also push up the hair a little bit as you are tying to create that bubble as you have seen me do just to make sure I have a much fuller bubble or you could just fluff it out both ways work just fine and this is what it looks like guys if you want your bubbles smaller make sure that you don't fluff them out as much or if you want them bigger than this fluff them out as much and also keep your distance in between each tie bigger as well i went ahead and did the rest of it off camera and now for the last one part your hair out as we did already and then place your hair in between and now to make sure that your hair doesn't keep moving or just get into your braid as you braid it just tie it i know it looks funny right now but just tie it just to make sure that it doesn't move everywhere and then put your hair again to put the rest of the hair in between your natural hair and then also tie this around to make sure it doesn't move at all if you want you can also just secure it with a rubber band don't tie it too much you just want to make sure it doesn't move you're still going to remove this in a bit so not too much and then now just braid your natural hair 
you see now it's much easier because there's no hair flying around and just getting into the braids it's so neat once you're done just untie that part and just bring your hair together fluff it out to make sure that your braid is well hidden because you don't want that braid to be showing anyway once you're done fluffing it out just go ahead and grab a little bit of hair and then wrap that around and then tie it twice or three times is okay and then tie it and let's make sure that the best is well secured before you move on to the next part and again we're going to repeat the same method again grab a little bit of hair you see how neat the best is that's what you want and then now we're going to move on and just grab a little bit of hair as before and wrap that around tie it first wrap it you see i'm pulling it i'm pushing the hair forward to just form that good bubble you know and then just wrap it and tie it so fluff it out again until it's as thick as you want it to be and then just tie it and just keep going as you will see your bubbles will be a lot more uh, thicker if you push it up a little bit before you tie or as you tie that way you may not even need to fluff it out after but if you want to go ahead so now I'm just going to continue with the same process as before we've already done this I'm just going to keep tying and wrapping and then tying again to form each bubble and just keep going down the braid down the hair to form the braid just remember to keep the distance in between each bubble quite uniform by if you're not sure use your hands to measure as I already showed you and just keep them a little bit more uniform they're not going to be so uniform but try to make sure that they're about the same size and just keep going as before I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section which hair type would you prefer using is it the straight hair or the afro kinky hair for this hairstyle I actually like them both and I have used straight hair before for this very hairstyle but I, it was a little bit different because I had to curl the hair before if you want to see that video it's it will be on the screen at the end so you can go and check it out click on that one right after this one now when you reach the end you notice the hair getting shorter and shorter so try to grab the longest hair to make sure that you wrap with that if you still want to continue making bubbles. This hairstyle is so easy and can be done by anyone you do not need to know how to braid at all and it just looks so good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some beads if you don't want to you don't have to I didn't actually put that much I'm going to use a little pin because as I said I didn't have a crochet hook so you can use a pin as well to put your beads in. I used very few beads, it was only about 5 braids that had beads so if you don't want to use beads you totally cannot use beads, it is totally up to you. So to secure the beads I just grabbed some rubber band and just tied that around and that was it. Afterwards I just cut off the excess hair and this is exactly what it looked like. <music> this one but using kinky hair click over here if you want to see this same hairstyle again using this same very straight hair but curled up yourself click in the description or in the comment section pinned 